Hey Libra, welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well today. This is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Or whoever's got us to watch this video, you're welcome as well. Cross watchers, you are also welcome. But everybody that's here that's joining me, please remember to just take a resonate, leave what doesn't fit. And also remember to um, flip and switch the roles. All right, we'll be talking about someone else in your energy. So let's see what's coming towards you, Libra. Let's see what you could be expecting. All right, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, please return any spell work, any dark magic, sense of harm. The Libra, what the collective and their loved ones, me and my loved ones. Please return it back to the sender. Thank you so much. So let's see what's coming towards Libra spirit. What does Libra need to hear and know at this time? Let's see, Libra, Libra, Libra. All right, Labyrinth journey number fifteen. You could be dealing with a Capricorn or a Scorpio or a Gemini. I don't know why I say Scorpio. But um, let's see what else for Libra. Number 38, succulence, resilience. Okay, maybe that's why. I think Scorpio did have this. <clears throat> All right. So now will be a good time to show great strength on your journey at this time. It could be a bit complex, complicated. Could be a lot of twists and turns. Shit probably feels like a maze. Okay, yeah, bottom of the deck, lightning disruption. Yeah, somebody's just, there could be people in the way or a lot of people just getting in the way. But keep working hard here. You're very resilient, all right? You got that trait within your Libra. Could be a Taurus here. You could have Taurus in your chart. Um, Somebody could be the age 29, 38. Somebody could have a 15 year old here. Somebody could be the age 41. Could be dealing, yeah, Libra energy. I see 11, 38. You guys could be seeing 11, 11, 5, 15. Yeah, 29, that's 11 again. So, all right, so 11, 11. New beginnings coming in for you, endings, transformations. Let's see what's happening with you guys. Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, or anybody guided to watch this channel, watch this video. Let's see. What is Labyrinth Journey? What is this? Okay, the judgment in reverse. There's that Scorpio energy. All right, Scorpio coming out strong. So this could be like a self-doubt, a lack of self-awareness. All right, a karmic cycle that could be on repeat here that maybe you're not noticing, Libra. It's making your journey more difficult than what it has to be. Um, Maybe you could have made the wrong decision about something or somebody made the wrong decision here. Let's see, the King of Wands, the Lovers in Reverse. Yeah, <coughs> Gemini Energy. So there could be a breakup here. There's something that possibly somebody needs to take action on um, <clears throat> to get them out of this karmic cycle. It could be somebody needs to be courageous enough or bold enough to take the lead, be assertive, and uh, take responsibility or take accountability for something that they did to you, Libra. Um or this is you needing to kind of like stop doubting your intuition and break up with somebody. All right. The lover talks about um, trust issues. This could be trust issues here you're having. I feel like you could be in an energy where you could, you could be quite unforgiving. Could be your ego could be in the way <laughs> or somebody's, right? This could be somebody else. All right. There could be something here blocking your journey. It could be about a relationship, a connection. All right, it could be an ex or it could be any kind of relationship, really. But, um, you know, it takes two to tango, right? So whatever you need to do to forgive this person or forgive yourself, it's time to do that so you can move forward. Let's see, somebody could have chose someone else over you. They made the wrong decision and now they're going through a breakup with this person. Okay, because let's see, what's the judgment in reverse? 
chariot in reverse. Yeah, something is blocked. There's a blockage here, a big one. Cancer energy could be dealing with the cancer. So yeah, um, <clears throat> there's a blockage here. Um, not really having a sense of direction. Yeah, this is like your. There's some kind of awareness here. You need to. There's something that you're not really seeing, okay? And it could be because sometimes this King of Wands gives me like ego, a know-it-all, a hothead, somebody here that just feels like they know everything. All right, Queen of Wands in reverse, the star in reverse. Mm. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I feel like there's a there's a loss here. There's a sense of indirection. I mean, not indirection, misdirection here. It's like you, or maybe you were misdirected somewhere. <clears throat> feel like you're trying to get back on course here because there's there's definitely a blockage here um yeah i feel like too the chariot in reverse talks about uh hate like kind of like winning over love here so i feel like there's some deep hate you got for somebody in your heart maybe it's not hate or this is somebody around you that does that likes to fuck with your energy like that or i don't know but i'm getting you're having a hard time forgiving somebody you're very unforgiving maybe right now it's like you don't want to but that's what's blocking you, though. <clears throat> so, I don't know. Could be somebody being hateful towards you, blocking you. But what's the King of Wands? Could be indecision, too. Not knowing what to do. Yeah, just not knowing where to go. How to fix something. How to make something work or make it right. Ace of Cups in reverse. Yeah, this is a breakup. Definitely a breakup. It could be, like, oppressed. Yeah, emotions. It, it, shit. A lot of trauma that has happened to you here that could have affected your emotions. And now I just feel like your ego is in the way. Or somebody's ego is in the way. Or they really just don't want to touch on these emotions. They're repressed. They're oppressed. Yeah. But they're sitting in this discontent-ass energy. Not really getting what they want. Ace of Cups in Reverse could talk about bad news too. So there's somebody receiving bad news, but they just don't look like they are though. You know, they're, they're in denial about the fact that shit is falling apart in their life. Or this is you. Oh, out of the other. What's the Ace of Cups in reverse? This could be a breakup too. Six of Wands. Remember? Yeah, pride. I'm telling you, pride. <laughs> pride. Somebody can have a Leo Jupiter. So the Six of Wands in reverse is like pride. It's like a pride before a fall. Though. Like somebody knows that something's going to happen, but they're trying to have pride before it falls apart. All right. Um, <clears throat> insecurity. Somebody here is insecure. They just don't look like it. They don't look like it at all, though. This hiding, somebody's hiding their feelings. They do a good job at it too. You would never be able to tell. This person is nice, nice looking. <laughs> this could be you or somebody else. Somebody's really nice looking. They look well put together. They look like they're a leader, they're a boss, but that's a facade. Somebody has to do the work. Somebody's internal is really fucked up. All right, just period. Yeah, three of pentacles. Six of wands, here's a failure. Somebody feels like a failure. Or something here failed. This could be a lot of people that try to do something towards you. They, they failed at it. <coughs> mm. Could have been somebody around you with treacherous energies that did something to you. Somebody with ill intentions. Six of Wands in reverse. Could have been a multitude of people, a mob of people. So it could have been a lot of hurt here that somebody is, is having to deal with. And I feel like they are making it complicated by not doing the actual work. That they need to do to move forward. Instead of looking like they are healed, they need to really actually do it. Because whatever it is, it's blocking. What's what's the lovers in reverse? <clears throat> yeah, Ace of Swords in reverse. Somebody is lacking being authentic, being truthful, being honest, being real about how they're feeling, about whatever this is. Ace of Swords in reverse is definitely another card of a failure. Something is not a success. All right, a relationship failed, maybe. Somebody's beating themselves up, maybe, about a relationship with you failing, Libra. All right. Ace of Swords in reverse. Yeah, a lot of maybe arguing, fighting, hostility. Yeah, a lot of hostile feelings somebody has towards somebody. I don't know. what. Let's see. What's the Ace of Swords in reverse? <clears throat> There's a lack of clarity, too, or like a misinformation or miscommunication going on. Between you and somebody you, you're not together with. And I feel like this person. It's like well I already know they're not going to take me back. So I might as well just not say anything. You know it's just what it's giving. The high priestess. The magician in reverse. And the page of pentacles. 
There's a lot of divination going on here. All right. And it's trickery. Somebody could be getting going to a priestess to pay for spell work. Or... <clears throat> there's some um there is conniving or, or manipulation going on <clears throat> excuse me but the magician in reverse talks about un like somebody just lacks mental clarity somebody's just all off mentally but i'm getting um untapped ability somebody hasn't really tapped into an ability that they have that they naturally are born with so they, this, this could be you needing to study something that you're meant to do it could be yeah it's like you need to pick up some type of skill or something like that it could be with like divination or you could be a medium you're really good at contacting spirits or something like that. Could be dealing with the Virgo, Gemini, Pisces. I, mean, I don't know what that shit is. But anywho, what's this Ace of Swords in reverse? Yeah, Seven of Swords. <laughs> Somebody could have an Aquarius moon here. Seven of Swords in reverse is definitely... um. <laughs> Something here coming out, a lie. Something was all an illusion. This could talk about confessing or coming clean about something. Somebody ignored the warning signs. They ignored the warning signs here. I'm definitely getting though, this is somebody that's two-faced or something like that. They slandered your name. All right, they are fucking getting caught. Somebody's getting caught. This could be somebody here that was trying to blackmail somebody or there was a lot of malicious intent towards something here. To make somebody's journey harder. Mm. Somebody's being a coward though. They're not they're not fessing up. They're just not. They have no kind of backbone. Now I feel like somebody's conscience is kicking in though. Yeah, they're having a tired moment. They're seeing something about somebody's ass. Whoever they're with or whoever that you were with, you're seeing something. <laughs> you're seeing something about somebody's stupid ass. All right, well, let's see. What's um, what's succulence resistant? I mean, resilience. Queen of Swords in reverse. Page of Swords in reverse. Yeah. So the Queen of Swords in reverse is somebody that that gossips a lot. This person is very bitter. This could be a widower. All right, somebody that's just it could be a mother figure here. It doesn't have to be, but somebody is like jealous. Okay, just very nasty. All right. They give bad advice as well. And they're very codependent. <clears throat> <coughs> a lot of manipulative and maliciousness going on here. A lot of pessimism. Somebody is just a Debbie Downer. I feel like somebody is just annoying. This could be an absentee parent figure. Somebody that don't take care of their fucking kids. So what you're needing to do is be resilient. Be strong enough to kind of like stop talking to this person. Page your stories in reverse because they're definitely talking about you behind your back, spreading your, like running your name through the fucking mud. All right. And with a lot of fucking people or something. Page your stories in reverse is definitely the evil eye energy. Somebody sending you evil in energy. Okay. Um, playing a lot of head games. <clears throat> this is just a liar. This person is a liar. And I feel like they're getting bad karma. You need to let their ass get bad karma. For some of you, this hoe is getting locked the fuck up. Or they going to damn spiritual jail. Yeah, I feel like I feel like it's hard for you to forgive this person. The Queen of Swords in Reverse is unforgiving. I feel like you're not speaking to somebody here, Libra, or something like that. I feel like you're having a hard time making peace with a situation because it's like you want revenge or 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 this is somebody towards you. But whoever this is is just very dysfunctional. Definitely somebody that's not learning from their past mistakes. <clears throat> But the page of swords in reverse, this person could be very sarcastic. They always got something smart to fucking say. All right. I feel like you just need to go no contact. Page of swords in reverse is not saying a word at all. What else for succulents with resilience? This is somebody you're probably not speaking to. Yeah, knight of wands. Yeah, you need to be strong. Be courageous. Be bold enough to move forward in your life. Don't let this person here keep you stuck. Definitely somebody's not even worth the time here. Really. What's this Queen of Swords in reverse? <clears throat> yeah, Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, they're bitter because they're broke. They don't have anything solid or stable in their life. This person could be a thief. They're experiencing delays in their finances as well. Yeah, this person, they don't know anything about stability. They're all over the fucking place. 
and you're losing hella fucking money. Yeah, and I feel like you're hardworking. You're going towards your happiness. <coughs> it's like, by yeah, the world. I feel like you're closing the cycle out with this person. This person here, I feel like you can never get on the same page with them because they don't know how to communicate. They just don't. And it's because they're a liar. They don't want to tell you the truth. You know? This person is slowing your fucking money down, child. What's... <laughs> what's uh this person here lacks empathy too they're just very rude somebody is just nasty like bye bitch yeah it's time to leave them day ass behind libra i feel like you're getting adjusted it's coming around okay because your reading has been about this bitch forever you know what i'm saying what's the page of swords in reverse but whatever this is for you this is you that, that's kind of like not forgiving this person you're needing to kind of like because this is repressed trauma again and i feel like it's here again Repressed emotions. You guys are needing to heal this. Forgive maybe a mother figure or somebody with the Ace of Pentacles because it's slowing your money down. It's causing delays in your finances. This person here being in your, your energy and being able to suck the life out of you or argue with you or whatever the fuck they're doing is stopping your money. You're needing to learn a lesson about this person so you can get stable again. Yeah, Three of Swords. It's like it, it, if you have addictions or something like that, this person can have addictions, but you can have addictions too. I don't know if you're picking up on bad habits like. Maybe you smoke too much, you're drinking too much, or you're fucking indulging in shit that you just don't have, you don't need to be indulging into because of heartbreak or pain. There needs to be a stop to that, all right? Nine of Cups in Reverse is like miserable energy, okay? I feel like this bitch is miserable, but I feel like you could be taking on that or keeping that pain hidden, which is also <clears throat> blocking your success, which is not fair. Don't, don't stay a victim to somebody else's shit. Let they ass go on and be fucked up. <clears throat> that ain't got shit to do with you. The shit that my stomach growling. <laughs> the shit that people are, excuse me, projecting onto you here is, uh, excuse me, is them with the problem. It's not you. Especially if you know you ain't did shit. So, what's the page of swords in reverse? <laughs> their plan for some of you, their plan to break you and somebody up is, is not working because you're too strong. You're too powerful. I feel like you got your own problems, right? Yeah, you could be prideful or whatever. Everybody has their own issues. But I feel like it didn't break you and somebody up. I feel like, if anything, you canceled some shit with this bitch and now they're mad. They're mad about it. What's the page of swords in reverse? Yeah, Knight of Swords. And they're a bully. This person is a bully. They can have a criminal background here. They put other people in danger. They just don't give a fuck. They do not give a fuck about what they're doing to you or anybody else. Yeah. So remain balanced, remain calm. <clears throat> you know, um, pay attention to the signs and symbols you see around you. Just make peace with these white birds here, whatever this is. Yeah, make peace. Work on your healing. Um, be patient with yourself. Be kind to yourself. Stop letting this person get you out of character. Yeah, do the, do the healing work. The hermit with the temperance. Go within. You know how to handle yourself. I feel like you're very mature. You're wise. Okay, you could be older in age, but if you're younger, I feel like you're very wise. You're way beyond your years here. So I feel like you know better, right? Yeah, the Empress. <laughs> yeah. You could be meeting an Empress here. Yeah, wow, the Two of Cups. Justice in reverse. Hmm. So... <clears throat> Excuse me, my throat itch. So the Knight of Swords, yeah, this could be um somebody is being a coward or weak. Somebody thinks that you're not going to forgive them for something. And, I mean, hey, somebody <coughs> shouldn't rush you about anything. If you want to take your time, then you take your fucking time. <laughs> but I feel like this person here, they are weak. They are a coward and they're damn sure a goddamn bully. So they're trying to intimidate you or whatever because y'all not speaking or whatever it's like childish what's this nine of wands this bitch is they just i'm just so tired of hearing about this hoe what's this nine of wands knight of wands here for libra i really yeah ten of wands in reverse somebody could have a sad saturn in the empress yeah you're taking action here with the knight of wands this is you being brave bold courageous <clears throat> okay passionate um I'm hearing like dedicated to. Yeah, you're dropping this burden here and you're taking action. For some of you guys, you're taking care of your empress. Okay, for some of you, this is your mama or your baby mama. You're dropping this burden. But I feel like whoever this is could be a divine feminine or this is you, Libra. Taurus, Libra energy. Yeah, you're standing in your um, divine feminine energy. Even if you're a masculine, I feel like you're knowing <clears throat> when to give and when not to give to this situation. Right? This is you and your balanced feminine energy. 
you're sitting back it's like now is your time to receive whether you're a man or woman now is your time to relax okay um and do whatever it is the fuck you want to do okay just period but this could be somebody in your life here that you are wanting to put your time effort and energy into so you could be needed to drop this burden let this shit go offload the bullshit let it go drop it this could be it could be emotional baggage or just like dead weight or hella responsibility that you have with somebody because they're broke they don't have no money you're taking care of this person it's like no you have other shit to do bigger fish to fry somebody here that really um deserves your time your money especially if you're a man your efforts it's like somebody else is a loser yeah look at this hoe queen of pentacles in reverse queen of wands in reverse and they're dark somebody is dark promiscuous they'll do anything for a piece of change definitely hot tempered hot headed arrogant jealous catty all kind of shit queen of pentacles in reverse is a dark magic using asshole <laughs> they're unstable they're very childish they're a bad mother somebody here is a badass mother or father just period they're a loser yeah and this is you taking action in your own life here you're going towards whoever the fuck you want to date or be with or you're tapping into your creative side working on something starting a business but yeah it's a tired moment for that ass that's coming yeah whatever this is about to fall apart here for your highest good libra <clears throat> yeah so it looks like you're on the right track keep going all right don't fall back into the bullshit what's the skull endings there could be something here that you're needing to create too or you're wanting to create i feel like you're going to be able to do so so let's see yeah eight of wands beautiful eight of wands somebody can have a sag mercury King of Pentacles in reverse and the Ten of Swords in reverse. <coughs> if you guys were having money problems, I feel like something is, or if you were just lacking stability, you don't feel safe. Maybe your root chakra is off a bit because you're, I feel like you're used to dealing with dysfunction. So this could have made you uh, dysfunctional growing up or you only know toxicity and dysfunction. So I feel like you're trying to change that around for the better, which is good. But I feel like if you are having money issues or having problems with your finances, something good is going to come in for you. There's going to be a sudden shift or a quick change. The Ten of Swords in reverse, Gemini energy, you're going to be able to overcome whatever obstacle this is. <clears throat> okay. Um, let's see something though. What's the, let's see, this could be communication coming in. Let's see. What's the Eight of Wands? This could be travel. Some of you guys could be getting ready to travel, go somewhere. What's the Eight of Wands for Libra? Five of Swords in reverse. Aquarius, Venus energy. The Hierophant in reverse and the King of Cups. Y'all hear my stomach? <laughs> oh my gosh. So, um... Let me see. What's this Five of Swords in reverse right here? Because this could talk about healing conflict here. There could be communication coming in to heal conflict. But let's see. What's the Five of Swords in reverse? <clears throat> Nine of Cups in reverse. Okay, and the Five of Wands in reverse. <laughs> okay, so right now will be a perfect time for you to stand your ground. Okay, there could be people around you that are extremely revengeful. This person is a bully. This person here could be trying to get you locked up. All right, get you arrested. Somebody has, has extreme resentment, okay? Because I feel like you embarrass them or they feel embarrassed or something like that. So they're mad, they're miserable. This person could be, I'm getting somebody gets high a lot or they, they drink a lot or something. They have a substance abuse issue, but they're very arrogant and childish and immature. So they could be coming at you fast with some communication. I feel like you're gonna have to um embarrass this bitch. Yeah, somebody could have a Leo, <coughs> Saturn, Pisces, Jupiter, yeah. Stand your ground. Speak your truth with the King of Swords. That's you, Libra, with this air and <clears throat> this air energy. Because somebody here is looking for a problem. They're looking for a, a war. They want to fight here. Or they're coming towards you to heal something, but they're not going to get what they want out of you. They're going to be mad and disappointed that you're not going to want to heal something with them or, or make something right with them anymore. Just period. But it could be either or. I'm getting both energies. Where somebody is coming towards you looking for a fight or something <clears throat> fast and you know you're gonna have to stand your ground or this is like somebody here feeling ashamed or embarrassed or humiliated some of y'all need to pay attention to the warning signs all right you're not paying attention to them this person could be coming towards you trying to fight and shit yeah five 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 something is changing but something is also ending you guys could be seeing five 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 
All right, what's uh this King of Pentacles in reverse? Knight of Pentacles and the Two of Wands, the Devil. Mm. Capricorn energy, the Ace of Wands. So it seems like um, you're trying to do something, but you feel like you're not getting anywhere. Yeah, I just saw the Five of Pentacles. You're working on something. So some of you guys, I feel like you're going to have a chance to, to uh, take make a choice here. With the Two of Wands. For some of you, somebody could be stealing from you or they, they're doing something. But the Two of Wands is making a, de a decision, making a choice. This could be about a partnership coming in. There could be somebody coming in to help you with your money issues or your problems here with the Two of Wands. Somebody could have an Aries Mars. Because the Knight of Pentacles is somebody that's responsible. They're, they're um, reliable. <clears throat> they finish what they start. They're a hard worker. They have great work ethic and they know how to manage their money very well. But I don't know. Let's see. What's the Knight of Pentacles? Because the Knight of Pentacles is right here. And then we have the King of Pentacles in reverse. So let's, let's see. What's the Knight of Pentacles? I just feel like the three of pentacles, yeah, and the six of cups in reverse. For some of you, <clears throat> you're in a contract here. It's binding. It could be a marriage or for some of you, or it could be, I don't know, maybe you have a joint account with somebody. You, you I don't know. There's a contract here that you're needing to get rid of because I feel like you're working hard, but you're not seeing any growth with your money. It's like there's still a lack of stability here. For some of you, this is your father or father figure, or this could be a mother. It could be any damn body. But this could be you trying to get it together, trying to get your money together. And I feel like you're making smart decisions. You're doing the right thing. But I feel like you're hitting a dead end because you're in a contract with somebody that you, you ended things with already. Or you have some type of rose tinted glasses on about somebody from your past. But I feel like something here needs to end. Yeah, the hangman, you're not seeing something. Pisces, energy, the nine of wands. It's like you're always in a battle. Yeah, <clears throat> queen of pentacles in reverse. Somebody here is jealous of you. It could be your mama. I'm getting somebody's ratchet ass, dusty ass mother or their baby mother. Or it could be a man. Flip it, switch it. But yeah, somebody you have children with or somebody in your fucking family. I don't know, but I'm sick of seeing this hoe. They get on my fucking nerves. <laughs> For sure. Y'all need to get rid of this person. I don't know. Six of Cups in reverse is like growing up. It's maturing. So I feel like you're trying to grow up. You're working hard. You have great work ethic here. <clears throat> or you're working on something with somebody, but it's not working out. They're a thief or they're a loser. or they're, they're somebody. It could be a Taurus here with the King of Pentacles in reverse or somebody on the Taurus Aries cusp. Every time you get something, this person here takes it back or something. They're greedy. Whoever this is, they're very greedy. What's the two of wands? This could be like a plan or a strategy to take something from you. So you really need to pay attention because I feel like somebody's mad now. They're mad because they feel embarrassed by you. You don't want to fuck with them. And now they're going to try to seek revenge on you. What's the two of wands? Yeah, jealousy, envy. Somebody here obsessed with how they look, their image. For some of you, this is you. You need to get out of this energy of being obsessed with how you look and get rid of this hoe. This could also talk about ignoring your inner voice. There could be a decision that you're going to make that I feel like is the wrong one or something. And you need to listen to, follow your heart here in a situation or listen to what your spirit guides are telling you internally. <clears throat> but I feel like more so, this is like jealousy, envy. This is this person planning shit. This could be... <sighs> something about your childhood is significant too. But very obsessive, emotionally manipulative energy. What's the page of cups in reverse? What is their fucking problem? Ooh, excuse me, y'all. I'm doing a lot of like burping and my stomach growling. Jesus, what is going on with me? <laughs> What's the page of cups in reverse? But I can't eat on a full stomach. I just, doing that while I'm doing readings makes me tired. I can't do that. What's the page of cups in reverse? The sun. Yeah, something's going to be exposed. Leo energy. And the three of swords, yeah. Something's going to be exposed. It's going to break your heart. But I feel like it's going to, yeah, move you into calmer waters. Whatever this is, here's meant to occur. You're meant to see somebody for who they are. A thief, a greedy ass fucking loser. A con artist. A goddamn... For, for some of you, this is a business partner. Somebody you just share finances with or something. Assets or something like that. This person is not... They are just not... They're still very childish. Just very fucking childish. And they need to be gotten rid of. 
Yeah, this person is just a mess. What's the Ten of Swords in reverse? Like I have a Libra Saturn. Yeah, Four of Swords, Libra Jupiter energy. So this looks good. You're healing. You could be in your head about a lot, but I feel like you're healing. You're, you're just reflecting, I feel like, over the past. But I get a meditative <coughs> and peaceful energy from this Four of Swords right here. Yeah, you're going to be a yeah, karmic lesson here. Past lessons repeating itself. And I feel like you're finally going to get the hang of something. When this shit gets revealed to you or whatever the fuck this is, yeah, somebody has a mental illness, they have problems, or they, they're addicted to some shit that, that is fucking their, a relationship up with you and them. It's like you're going to be over it real fucking quick. Yeah, I feel like you're turning your back on somebody that's jealous and envious. And you know what their next... You know what they do when people are jealous and shit like that? They start telling lies and start trying to seek revenge and all type of shit. It's just lame. You know, so. Just sick of the bitter hoes, bro. What else for Libra? denial avoiding the truth yeah this could be you guys avoiding that you need to really go within or avoiding the truth about seeing that this person is a thief they're a fucking thief and they have a lot of people that they do this shit with or whoever they run with is a bunch of losers just like they are opposites attract you are both very different and irreconcilable final breakup divorce yeah somebody's in denial about you know whether it's a divorce or not it could be family friends whatever you're leaving a relationship and somebody does not like that you guys are on two different paths and they're making your path more complicated when theirs is fucked up. They didn't already fuck their shit up. Let them fuck their own life up. You move on. <laughs> yeah, pretending somebody is fake. Just fake. They have all these insecurities dr causing drama and chaos. It's just like, bitch, bye. You, you just, I don't know, but you're a mess though. And I feel like, you know, Libra, you're getting quite annoyed. And I am too. As your reader, I'm ready for you to kick this bitch out. <laughs> Come to the curb, all right? Period. So let's see. What else for Libra? Third party. Infidelity, poly, and interference. Karmic lesson. Past lessons repeating itself. Spring, April, or May. So somebody's birthday could be in April, May. Taurus, Aries. Could be a little bit of Pisces if it's the cusper. Or a little bit of Gemini if it's a cusp. All right. Somebody could be on the cusp of those. But I'm getting Taurus and <clears throat> Aries. Could be very significant. Somebody trying to get in the way of y'all's connection all right <clears throat> yeah it's time to let their ass go <clears throat> so something significant about spring could be coming in yeah when the flowers blossom or something like that when the sun come out or it looks kind of like better outside it's you know maybe this connection is going to be severed hopefully shit or they don't bring their ass back up in the fall in the spring bitch it's time to have fun now you need to go somewhere else <clears throat> yeah with the chaos and the chaotic energy what's what else for libra <coughs> love you care about each other deeply reconciliation coming back together and then we have finances money stress financial support yeah somebody's having problems with their money because they're having to deal with this third party. It's the third party that's interfering. Whoever this damn bitter ass mo mother figure is. Because it is a mother figure. That's bitter as fuck. It could be a man. Flip the switch. But I see the masculine upright over here with the king of wands. They just got a lot of work to do. Or this is you, Libra. One or the other. This mother figure could be another Libra. Divine Feminine divine counterpart child i can't make it up yeah i cannot make it up taking it slow don't rush progress yeah soulmate this is the one whoever you're with is the one uh libra whoever you're getting ready to be with is the one or you're getting ready to meet somebody that's the one it's your divine feminine that's what this empress is down here that's what this empress is you're trying to like go towards this empress or make things right with this empress or be more mature step up to the plate I feel like you, you'll you be <clears throat> become more of a boss or whoever this is, this man is. I feel like I'm talking to a man that's having a problem with their mama or their damn ratchet ass, weird ass baby mama or whoever. It could be anybody. Put yourself where you fit, but I don't know. It'll make you better if you just do the inner work, right? Something here that you need to touch on that's quite painful. I feel like it's painful, right? <clears throat> but just take your time. I feel like you have somebody here that's going to support you. They could, they're very empathetic and sympathetic. 
you know, about your, your uh, situation, this empress is. <clears throat> okay, that want to come out so bad. Let's see. All right. So we have your head may be in the clouds right now and perhaps stuck in fantasy or an illusion. Find balance between the 5D and the 3D <clears throat> and ensure that you are integrating the two equally. Come back down to earth. Yeah. It's like somebody don't want to see something. They don't want to see something because I feel like it's painful to, to deal with. And I get it, right? But got to deal with it. All right. It says, <clears throat> get in touch with your masculine energy. The side of you that is logical, ambitious, and structured. This will help you feel more balanced, okay? So your, your, mas <clears throat> your masculine energy could be off. <clears throat> okay, that's probably why this masculine is sitting up here. Or for some of you, you're a woman and your masculine energy is off. You need to take action on something. <clears throat> okay, damn. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> so let's see. What flipped over? Oh, damn. Find a sacred place in your home or anywhere you feel drawn to. Dedicate this space to finding comfort, safety, and prayer. Make this spot your altar and safe ha and safe haven when times get tough or simply as a daily connection. Because some of y'all need to make an altar. All right, what's this I flipped over? You must head down the road less traveled. Even if you feel misunderstood or afraid, there's a treasure deep within your soul. Stay true to you and don't be afraid to lose others in the progress. Go your own way, yeah. All right, whatever. Uh, not whatever, but what else? <laughs> I say whatever a lot, so. But it says, you are gifted with the power of healing. Step into the light and work with energy to benefit yourself and to serve others as a healer. The light is within you and all around you. All right, so I feel like I needed to read those since they came flying out. Okay. <clears throat> it says, at times, we must approach situations differently to have a better result. Doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a new result isn't successful. Okay, period. Find the solution to a problem by changing your tactic or approach. Yeah, and I feel like it's just ending something, just period. Ain't no trying to work it out or talk to this person. There's none of that. You're going to have to go completely silent. I keep telling y'all that. <laughs> just period. You're going to have to, something is an illusion. It's a dream. It's a fantasy. All right. Yeah, something here that you want to. You're dreaming about something and the door's open for it at the right time and you're aligned with your path. I just feel like um, your shadow work here. You need to be... Work on your self-love and self-care and really focus on you and stop putting your focus in on this fucking conflict. Yeah, this this mess here. It's this mess. It's an imbalanced love here, whether it's a family member or whatever. If love is love, whoever you love doesn't have to be romantic, you know, but somebody is definitely in your way, dis disrupting you. And you're sitting up here hoping for something to be recovered with this person, you know, because you love them or something like that. And I just feel like they're a mess. They really just, they're not, they're not okay. Okay. And they're trying to make sure you're not okay either to keep you stuck. And that's a mess. But nonetheless, Libra, this was a good reading. I just feel like you guys need the encouragement, the push to kind of like leave somebody the fuck alone. And stop trying to fix a goddamn imaginary ass relationship, friendship, whatever the fuck it is. Because it's damn sure imaginary. It's not real. It's an illusion. You know, so this was your reading, Libra. I hope this resonated. Like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on. Make sure you guys press the all button so you won't miss any of my readings for when I post. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.